Okay guys, today we are gonna talk all about the marketing strategy that I used to create a multi-million dollar marketing agency by the age 25, which is so crazy to me that we were able to grow that quickly. But in my opinion, we actually have a really incredible blueprint and framework to make that happen that I feel like can really be customized to any industry, any business model. So I wanna share it with you guys today, but first I wanna talk to you about where we've come from so you can kind of understand our story and how we were able to make that happen. So three years ago, I was working for a marketing agency at the start of COVID. I was working full time, but obviously when COVID started, the first thing that every business did was pull their marketing budget because they had to cut costs. Obviously the world was freaking out. Everything was shutting down. It was super unpredictable. And so a lot of people pulled their marketing budget. So because of that, obviously the agency that I was working for was significantly impacted and slashed my hours to very much part time. And so I needed to make a living wage. And so I essentially decided that in the interim, because they had promised me like, hey, once everything kind of stabilizes, it's gonna kick back up and we're gonna get you back to full time. I'm like, okay, great. In the interim, I need to be able to live. So what can I do in order to do that? So I actually decided to start freelancing as a digital marketer. Now, from the time I was 18 to 21, I had started a business with my dad and ended up selling it. So I had been an entrepreneur before. And I always knew I wanted to get back into being an entrepreneur. I knew that my dream was probably not to work for somebody else, it was to work for myself. And so I was like, you know what? We'll just freelance. I like working for myself. I'm good at it, I can make it happen. And decided that I was just going to essentially start marketing myself and my marketing services and see what happened. Within, I'm not joking you guys, 30 days of doing this, I had signed 10 clients. Like 30 days I had signed 10 clients and was working probably full time in addition to my part-time job at my agency. I very much took that as a sign that this was what I was meant to do. This was the avenue that I wanted to take in terms of being an entrepreneur and jumped in full time. I quit my agency job at the beginning of COVID, which was obviously super risky to do. But within, I think it was like six months, I'd created six figures in revenue. Within two years, I had to bring on a massive team of agency employees to help me support the demand for all of these clients. At one point, I think we had like 15 to 20 agency clients. It was crazy. And now flash forward three years from that, we have created a multi-million dollar marketing agency and company and there's no stopping us now. Now in some industries, in most industries actually, scaling to a multiple seven figure company within three years is super uncommon. It's honestly insane to me. Most people have said like, how did you scale that quickly? Because a lot of times years one through five for startups are really, really hard in terms of creating sales. It's something where you really have to work at it, but we've always scaled and created sales really effortlessly and so have our clients. So I wanna talk with you guys, like I said, about the strategy that we were able to use to make that happen. And it's four parts. And in my opinion, Creating results without all four of these parts is almost impossible or it's gonna take you a really long time. I really truly believe that one of these parts doesn't exist without the other. So the first thing that we wanna talk about obviously is strategy. Now, this is completely based on my buyer types that are in my audience, the services that I'm selling, my marketing model. There's so much that I used to customize this marketing strategy, but it's based on our alpha framework, which is attract, warm, convert. Now, the two main marketing platforms that I use are gonna be Instagram and TikTok. But again, it's very much because of my ideal client, my target audience, and where they're hanging out and consuming content. We work with female-based businesses. Those female business owners are anywhere from, I would say, 21 to 50 years old. A lot of times, and they're usually more on the younger side, so I would say probably like 35 is kind of where it maxes out, but we're open to obviously people who are older as well. But a lot of times where those people are hanging out and consuming content and marketing is going to be Instagram and is gonna be TikTok. We create content that attracts them in, grabs their attention, really hooks them in and holds their attention and causes them to binge our content. So we do three videos on TikTok per day. We do one trend and our audience loves funny, entertaining, sarcastic, witty content around our alpha framework, the results we've created, my journey. They love it when we talk about the old era of marketing is dead. All of those things very much get their attention. And the way that we hold their attention is by doing two more educational or nurturing videos on TikTok every single day as well. So we do three total videos per day. Those pieces of content are very much based off of our buyer types that are in our audience. So our buyer types are very assertive and analytical. So they really need to see my expertise, knowledge, the team's expertise and knowledge, the results we've created for our clients, 
not just our own results. And so a lot of the content that we put out is talking about client results, marketing strategies, what we think about different topics within marketing and sales, all of those different things. That is really what activates them. And so we post on TikTok every single day. In addition to that, we sell on our stories every single day and we post on Instagram every single day, whether it be a real, a graphic carousel, any of those things, we create a lot of content that activates our audience to buy. That's that conversion piece. We also create a lot of content that builds trust with our audience. That's that warming piece. So TikTok is very much used for attracting in new leads, warming them up, building trust with them, building brand recognition with them. And then Instagram is very much used to warm them up and build more trust and brand recognition and get them to the point where they know that they're ready to work with us and then convert them into sales, really push them over the edge in order to get them to buy from us. With that being said, the things we took into consideration to create that strategy was what are the buyer types in our audience? Who are we trying to sell to? What are we selling them? What are they struggling with? What do they desire out of our services? How do we uniquely meet those desires and solve those problems? And then what else, like what other lenses do we need to put all of that content through based off of their buyer types and based off of what's important to them in a purchase or an investment decision. If you guys are unfamiliar with buyer types, I really suggest you do more research into them. We just did an episode about the four buyer types. So make sure you go listen to that because it's going to help you a lot. And it, I really truly believe it's like the gap that most business owners experience in terms of not knowing the different buyer types or how to sell to them. So make sure you do that. But that was the strategy that we utilized. And you guys, Guys, when I say that it has created so much ease and clarity and confidence in our marketing, like marketing and sales is probably the easiest part of our entire business. So if you really know what you're selling and who you're selling it to and how to uniquely position that based off of what's important to who you're selling it to, it becomes so, so easy to create sales. Okay, so that was the strategy that we used. Now, it is not enough for you to just have the right strategy. If you can't implement that strategy, if you can't implement it confidently, if you can't consistently implement it, you're not going to see sales, right? You're not going to scale. So for us, we really understood we also had to incorporate energy, consistency, and the right production plan in order to scale quickly. What I mean by energy is showing up with the right mindset. And then in addition to that, there is an element, I've talked about this before, of likability to creating sales. So if you show up and you're like, hi guys, I'm here to talk about my products or my services. Like no one's going to buy from you. But if you're like, hey guys, I'm super excited to talk to you today. Like whatever your regular personality is, you're showcasing that. If you're showing up confidently and excited to talk about your products or your services or anything that you're talking about for that matter, people are going to like you and trust you so much faster. And you're going to create sales so much easier because at the end of the day, people buy from people. I've said that before. And people have to trust you in order to buy from you. So you have to show up with the right energy. You also have to understand that there is an element of entertainment to marketing, right? At the end of the day, if you're a business owner, if you own a brand, you are an entertainer, you are a content creator. Unfortunately, that's just the way that marketing and sales is going these days. And so you have to get comfortable and okay with that in order to create those effortless sales. And so if you can show up with the right energy of like, I'm excited to create content, I'm having fun with it, I'm entertaining people, I'm providing value, I'm serving my audience, it's gonna be so much easier to create sales. And then in addition to that, the last mindset tweak that I really had to use when I was creating consistent sales or when I was scaling was really getting into that mindset of like the sales have already happened, even though they really had the sales have already happened. So I'm just showing up and providing content. Think of it this way. If you are in a really happy relationship, the way that you interact with people, the way that you show up in your life, you are confident, you're lit up, you're excited, you're happy. It's totally different than if you were going through a breakup, right? It's the same thing with marketing and sales. If you show up as if you are desperate for sales, as if you're struggling, as if any of those things, your audience can very much perceive that. If you show up as if your business is thriving, I don't want to say lie. I'm not saying they're like, please buy from me. You know, it's just like, hey guys, like I'm just going to talk about my services or my products today, right? You're casual, you're confident about it. You're having fun with it and you're giving them an option to buy with you or not, but you're confidently providing the information that they need in order to make that buying decision, right? So the energy is super important. And that's honestly, I think a really hard part for a lot of business owners to get into is that mindset piece of like showing up as if the sales have already happened, but it's a massive bottleneck for sales if you are showing up in a really desperate energy. So second to last is consistency. It does not matter if you have great energy or the right strategy. If you can't show up consistently, your audience is not going to buy from you because people need to hear about your product or your service 
eight to 12 times before they even consider making a purchase or an investment. So if you cannot show up consistently, it prolongs your sales process so much. And on top of that, there are very much platforms like TikTok, for example, that will totally punish you by not pumping out your videos and your content to the algorithm if you don't show up consistently. For example, last year for six months straight, I posted three times a day and I took a week long break, I believe, to go on vacation and I came back and I wasn't posting consistently during that week. I was just kind of posting on and off and my views were shit, honestly. And they had plummeted and it took me a really long time to get back up to the momentum that I had created. So in terms of consistently bringing in new leads into your audience, warming them up, taking them through that buying decision and getting them to buy from you, showing up consistently with the right strategy and the right energy is so important. And then last but not least, in order to do all of those things, you have to have the right production plan in place. And what I mean by that is being able to get the content out, film the content, write the content, post the content, etc. If you are sitting there trying to film three TikToks every single day instead of batching them or filming long form content and chopping it up into little pieces for you know your social media and you can't pump out that amount of content, it doesn't matter if you have the most kick-ass strategy in the world. If the content's not going out, it's not going to do anything, right? So you have to have the right production plan. We talk about our two strong production plan, which is either our micro production approach or our macro production approach. Micro is creating a lot of little pieces of content, either daily or batching them weekly. Macro is going to be that long form content. So podcasts, YouTubes, vlogs, stuff like that, where you're splicing that up and you're probably maybe only filming like one long form piece of content a week or two a month or something. And you're chopping it up to strategically repurpose across all platforms in order to get that content out. So the thing that I will always say about scaling successfully as a business owner is you need to become a problem solver and excuse eliminator. If you are somebody who doesn't know the right strategy, get the right strategy. If you don't know the buyer types that are in your audience, figure it out, do market research. If you don't have the right energy, how can you get into the right mindset? What can you do to set yourself up for success? Cause you're not going to wake up feeling like you want to sell every single day. If you, you know, can't consistently create content is your production approach crap. How can you adjust your schedule? So figure out what you need to do in order to have all four of those elements in your world in order to consistently get your content out so you can consistently see sales. So you need strategy, energy, consistency, and the right production plan. So if you are not seeing sales within your business, if you are struggling to see visibility or momentum or get new people looking at your brand or your business every day or stand out from the crowd, I want you to look at all four of those elements and ask yourself what is missing, if anything, and become a problem solver and an excuse eliminator. And as always, if you have questions about this stuff, you guys, we talk about this consistently on TikTok and on Instagram. So you can follow me there. You can slide into my DMs. I'm always here for you guys, but I hope that you learned a little bit about my story. You enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye guys.